A conventional concrete matrix has a multitude of micro cracks, pores, and capillary tracks through which water enters the concrete. When Penetron is applied to the concrete, the structure will gradually dry out even when facing high hydrostatic pressure. Let's take a closer look at how this works. Water passes through the capillary tracks and micro cracks in the concrete. These pores have a width between 0.1 mm and 0.05 mm. When Penetron products are applied to the concrete, the chemical reaction that follows causes these voids and cracks to be filled with insoluble crystals. Water is unable to pass through these crystal formations, and as a result, the concrete becomes waterproof. The ability of Penetron products to penetrate deep into the concrete structure, even when applied from the negative side and against high hydrostatic pressure, is the result of a complex chemical reaction involving osmosis, dry particle reactions, and Brownian movement. Once inside the concrete, the Penetron components react with water, calcium hydroxide, and aluminum, as well as various other metal oxides and salts contained in the concrete, and moving through the capillaries. The crystalline formation that ensues as a result of this reaction prevents water from moving through, but still allows air to pass, thus avoiding vapor pressure to build up inside the concrete. Should new cracks appear throughout the life of the concrete, Penetron crystals will appear in these cracks as well, preventing water from finding new ways to get through. When no more water is present inside the crack, the Penetron crystals lie dormant, but as soon as water reappears, the crystalline growth is resumed. In addition to the protection of the concrete against water penetration and resulting damage, Penetron protects the concrete against attack by various chemicals, acids, industrial waste, and corrosive groundwater, as well as seawater, and improves the frost resistance and strength of the concrete.